Hello everyone, how you doing today? So today we have a, a juicy, important, but impactful topic. And the topic of the day is gonna be what, Dynasty? What does a lack of trust look like in your life? A lack of trust looks like in your life. So let's talk about it, man. I'm gonna be honest with you today. It's like, I can remember how that, when I was growing up, how that impacted me, just as a young guy in my family. I was the only male in my generation, so it was a lot of girls around me. And at that time, that I didn't have the presence of my moms, I didn't have the presence of my pops, only because he had six other kids, and basically I was one out of the six. So he couldn't be all in places at one time. So I can remember when I was probably around eight years old, where I just really looked around and I felt like that. I had nobody to go to. When I say nobody, I mean literally nobody to go to. At least that's what I thought. But I'm saying that's how I was living at the time because, um, you know, I had a lot of stuff going on around me and it was times that I didn't even eat. So by the, by the time I got to about uh, age 10, 10, 11, 12, somewhere around that, that time that I realized that I couldn't put my my trust into anything, whether it was growth, whether it's understanding trust and stability, uh, whether it's understanding putting trust into my identity, because I had no self-esteem at the time. So all this was just like shaping my existence, right? And then you take, mix it with a little bit of trauma that I was going, going through, and, and I put it out there into the street. So even to this day though, like I even realized like when I went to prison, um, you know, the people I feel like that should have been there for me, that they wasn't there. So my trust steadily started to decline, you know. So, and as you can see, even today, I struggle with it as, as a grown-up as far as trusting people. And I just want to just talk about it. You know, I don't want to put nothing out there about it, the steps I took, anything like that. I want to talk about this topic because it's important to our growth. Yeah, um, he where he really went MLK right now. But <laughs> well, I was in the speech. Yeah, well, but, <laughs> I know, I know that last part was just extremely, you know, yeah, yeah, strong. Exactly. Um, so I guess from my perspective, um, we start from childhood. Uh, I was raised with my grandparents, and my mom was only 15 when I was conceived. My father was 16. He was in prison doing a life sentence. And my mom, you know, she was a baby raising a baby. So the nurturing aspect between me and my mom was never really there. Um, love her to death, but it never really was there. And so with me, with the two most important people that brought me into this world, when that attachment bond wasn't there, I, all of my relationships, I think, had to go after that. And I feel like from that point, of even just growing up in the hood. You know, it's like every man for himself, especially in LA. You know, trust is, is very small. You learn that you can't trust people um, right off the bat. You leave a dollar on that porch, that dollar not gonna be there when you get back. <laughs> you tell Shanae your business, it's gonna be down the street the next day. You know, so I think growing up with that lack of parental presence, being in a neighborhood that's every man for himself, I felt like my trust never increased. It was just like, where do I find stability in relationships? Nothing was stable. So as I started to grow up in grade school, you know, I became uh, extremely secretive in my friendships, in my dating life, um, in a lot of different aspects because I was always like, I gotta make sure I only tell people what I want them to know because I gotta make sure that I protect myself. And when at times when I did trust people, and it didn't go well, I was hurt. And I hated hurt, I hated so much to hurt me. And I had to learn like, okay, how do I protect myself? And that's when I went in that survival mindset, like no matter who I'm hurting, people have hurted me. So I'm gonna keep my trust level here with no expectations. So if I do get hurt, um, I won't be surprised. And how that affected me um, still as this day as an adult, I would say that um, I've learned to become less secretive, I would say. 
but I would say that it's impacted me in a way of it takes me slower to build a relationship with people. If I'm just now getting to know you, I might come off a little withdrawn or just not as sociable. And it's not that I don't like a person. It's just that I got to get to know you. I have to get a feel for you for me to feel comfortable enough to be myself. And so it just shows you that your childhood can really impact every relationship you have. Um, as you get older, it always is rooted in the childhood. Yeah, and most definitely. And just by listening to you talking and everything that you were talking about, it's like it, it brought accountability to my mind. Mm -hmm. It's like no wonder so many of us, including myself, mm -hmm. don't take accountability for things. Right. Just for that lack of trust and being impacted, like, you know, the way that we think to this day. And how it shows up in our life and in being in the black community. Yeah, it's so that, that's really a lack of trust. Yeah, so let's talk about it. Like that's really just think about your own life, mm -hmm. other people's life, different experience, uh, from childhood all the way up to now. And let's sit, share some suggestions. Let's 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 make this a conversation that's very well needed. And at the end of the day, it's about owning our mental health. Exactly. So my dad said it all to wrap it up. So you guys, in order for you guys to continue, we need your engagement. We need your comments. We need you to subscribe. We need you to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We're not going nowhere, and we need you guys to make sure we don't go nowhere. So thank you guys for tapping in, and let us know how you feel about this topic. Have a great rest of your day. Mental health in the hood, people.